Gather your family and enjoy a story that is written, illustrated, and read by staff of the Sharon Lynn Wilson Center for the Arts. The Imagination Cape. The Imagination Cape, written by Nicole Coco Cooper. Milo burst into the room where his mother was typing very fast. Something terrible had happened and he must tell her about it. Mama, Mama, I cannot find my imagination cape. I cannot color or draw or make art without my imagination cape. Milo's mother kept typing. Where did you leave your cape, Milo? I do not know, Mama. When did you last have your cape on, Milo? I do not remember, Mama. Milo's mother slowed her typing and looked at him. Did you wear your cape to school today? Just one. Yes, Mama. I wore just my imagination cape to school. I wore it for art today, and then I wore it for recess, and I wore it for lunch, and I wore it for the bus ride home. Milo's mother started typing fast again. Then your cape hasn't been lost for long. What did you do after you got off the bus? He had to think about this. There were so very many things to do in a day, and it was hard to remember them all. He had to fight dragons, he had to climb trees, he had to fly very fast, he had stories to tell, and of course he had his drawings and paintings, and suddenly Milo remembered. Running! Yes, Mama, I was running very fast after school. My imagination cape must have fallen off while I was running. Well, Milo, I'm sorry, but your cape will have to stay lost for now. I have work to do, and I don't have time to look for it. But, Mama, it's my imagination cape. Milo sat down on the floor. He was very sad. I should not have worn my imagination cape for running. Milo, you have many other capes. You have an orange cape. You have a blue cape. You have a red cape. You have a cape that's orange and blue and red. Why, why don't you wear a different cape? Mama, my orange cape is for dinner when I tell you stories. My blue cape is for flying very fast. My red cape is for climbing trees. My orange and blue and red cape is for fighting dragons. Did you know that dragons cannot look at orange and blue and red together? It hurts their eyes. Milo's mother made a funny sound. Yes, Milo, your orange and blue and red cape hurts my eyes as well. I want to bring all my capes to school so that I can wear my blue cape for flying and my red cape for climbing and orange and blue and red cape for fighting dragons. But school says I can only wear one cape each day. Yes, Milo, we've had this conversation with school many times. I lost one cape today. Milo made a very hard decision. I will wear no capes and do nothing until dinner. That's quite a few hours away, Milo. Milo thought again. Then he had a very good idea. Mama, I have a very good idea. I will stay here and talk to you until it's time for dinner. Milo's mother made that funny sound again. But Milo, if we talk until dinner, what stories will you have to tell me tonight? Milo thought about this. While his mother made dinner every night, he always told her stories of what he had done that day. You're right. I must do something very exciting now so I have exciting stories. But I do not know what's more exciting than my drawing and coloring or making art. What about flying or fighting dragons? Mama, Milo took a deep breath as this was a very serious thing he must tell her. I like drawing and coloring and making art better than flying or climbing or fighting dragons. Art is my very favorite thing. Milo's mother heard the very serious thing that Milo had just told her. She stopped typing and turned to face him. If you like making art that much, there's only one thing you can do. But you must be ready for an adventure. I am ready for an adventure, Mama. This adventure is only for brave boys and girls, Milo. It's when you use your imagination and still draw and color and make art, even though you've lost your favorite cape. His mother was very smart, and she typed fast and made very good dinners, but something did not make sense. But how is that an adventure? Milo, what if you lost your blue cape? 
Does that mean you can never fly very fast again? Or what if you lost your red cape? Does that mean you would never climb another tree? Or if you lost your orange cape, would you stop telling me stories when I make dinner? Milo was laughing. He would always tell his mother stories. Milo's mother reached out and held his hand. Being brave and adventurous means doing the things that you love, even when you are sad or missing something that you've lost. Milo was excited. He understood what his mother meant. Like my imagination cape? It was his mother's turn to laugh. <laughs> exactly. Using your imagination, even when you've lost your cape, makes you the most adventurous of all. Then it's a good thing that I lost my cape, Milo exclaimed. Maybe I will lose all my capes and be brave and adventurous every day. Milo's mother held his hand tighter for a moment. Milo, it's good that you like to wear orange capes and blue capes and red capes. And if you can't find your imagination cape, we can make a new one together. But drawing and coloring without your cape can be a very special adventure, just for today. Milo considered this. I do not know how I would fight dragons without my dragon fighting cape. And there are a lot of dragons to fight, Milo. I know, Mama. Now both Milo and his mother were silent. Then something occurred to Milo. Mama? Mama? Yes, Milo? Now I will have stories to tell you at dinner. I can draw in color and I will tell you all about it. Milo's mother laughed. I can't wait to hear about it. It's time for an adventure, Mama. It's time for an adventure, Milo. His mother stood up and walked with Milo to the foot of the stairs that led to his bedroom. She hugged him and then returned to her desk. As he took the stairs one by one, Milo could hear her typing very fast again. Talking to his mother always gave Milo a lot to think about. He had been very sad to lose his imagination cape, but now he smiled. Maybe when he went running tomorrow, he would find it again. In his room, Milo sat on the floor and reached for his box of pens and pencils and crayons. Then, being the very brave and adventurous boy that he was, he opened the lid and began to make art again. The End The Imagination Cape is a short story written by Wilson Center Artistic Director Nicole Coco Cooper. Illustrations by Gail Wilcombe. Narration and editing by Peter Mall. Learn more about the Wilson Center and our many offerings by visiting www.wilson-center.com.